Hi everyone. I thought it'd be quite cool to start going through my cabinet and sort of doing reviews or overviews of the tools that I've got and what I use them for. Um, this is more of an overview because I haven't got an enormous amount of experience yet with this rifle. This is a Mauser M12 Impact. This is my stalking rifle and I would use it for foxing and things as well but conditions on my FAC at the moment um, only permit me to go out with a mentor um, and I've only managed to get out on four stalks so far so I haven't met the criteria yet to sort of uh, request um, my ticket to be opened up. So hopefully when lockdown relaxes a little bit I should be able to uh, get some more experience and get this get some more use with this really and get to use it on my own permission as well because I've got a fair bit of land of my own to shoot on. I can use my rimfire on and my shotguns but I can't use my centre fire at the moment. So anyway, the rifle and what I think of it so far, I'm really, really happy with it. The reason I went for a Mauser M12 Impact was, I, well, they're extremely, extremely accurate. They're not too expensive. The rifle itself is 1,200 new. Mm. Um, as I mentioned, mine's in 308. I opted for 308 because it's a very versatile calibre. Um, there's plenty of uh, non-lead options available in 308 as well. So if we do mm. transition towards copper bullets rather than lead-based bullets, I'm not going to have to change my rifle. Um, I went for stainless and synthetic because guns get muddy, guns get damaged. I wanted something that I could crawl through the mud with, get soaking wet, and it's just not going to really mark the gun. Um, I intended on buying a rifle that was going to last me for a long time. I'm not really one for chopping and changing guns. Every gun that I've ever bought is still in my cabinet. So I'm sure I will get other rifles in the future. I will probably get a smaller calibre at some point for dedicated foxing rifle but for now this is my my deer and all other legal quarry rifle. Um, I've got a ATEC moderator on it, very quiet, really does dampen the crack which I quite like, you know that's sort of the, uh, what you're looking for in a moderator obviously. I've got a Schmidt and Bender 8x56 um, scope on it, it's pretty basic but it's got decent glass, um, good light collection, I've got it zeroed an inch high at 100 um, metres. Uh, I've shot some very good groups with it. I've only put two different types of uh, bullets through it so far. Uh, I've put Sierra Seiko, uh, Sierra Hammerheads, I think they're called. And I've also been using these Federal uh, 150 grain power shocks. Both, both, both bullets I've been using, both 150 grain soft points. But um, it actually likes the Federals better. I shot better groups with them, so that's sort of what I'm sticking with, and they're cheaper. so doesn't bother me really that's excellent um yeah so i've probably put about 60 rounds through this that's it so far i've had one range day basically i did my three and four with my deer in my um stalking syndicate where we got to shoot a three shot group at a four inch target 100 meters and shot very well with it and then just had sort of a bit of time getting used to where the rifle shoots and the action um it's got a three position safety on it which i quite like as well so at the moment it's in full safe. The gun is empty, by the way. I checked before I started the video. Um, it's in full safe at the moment, which means the trigger's inoperable, the bolt's inoperable. You can put it into the second uh, position of the safety. This is good if you need to unload, if you're in a high seat and you need to get down from high seat, you don't want to put it into um, fire to unload. You can then pull your bolt back, eject your um, cartridge, remove your magazine, and the gun's safe. And then obviously you've got fire, and it's got a lovely crisp trigger pull on it. Um, really, really light, breaks very cleanly, um, makes for sort of you know fine shooting um, very easy. Um, the stock is very rugged. There's no flex in it at all. It's a really, really robust, well-made um, synthetic stock. It's got excellent grip. The sort of texture on the grip on the forehand and the pistol grip is uh, it's very good. Um, I have got this rifle quite wet. I was out in the rain with it uh, towards the end of the, the last time I was out with it and the stainless steel uh, barrel and action, no no rust marks on it at all, nothing at all. I do get a bit of rust in my cabinet every now and again on my shotguns, but nothing on this at all. So, so far it's uh, living up to my expectations and the only thing I might change in future, I think, is um, I may upgrade the scope. If I end up sort of uh, using this as a bit of a target shooting rifle as well, I want to shoot out a bit further, then I may get something that's more suited to that. Because this has just got a duplex reticle in it. Um, 
I like that for stalking, and because I'm zeroed at an inch high at 100, I mean, theoretically speaking, I should be able to shoot anything flat out to 200. Um, from what I understand, again, I'm no expert when it comes to centerfire rifles, it's just what uh, more experienced members of uh, the syndicate that I'm a member of have uh, advised me of. So, yeah, um, not much more to say on it, really. I'm, I'm just very, very happy with it, and I'd highly recommend uh, a Mauser M12 Impact to anyone looking for their first stalking rifle. Um, I'll be doing more videos. I think I'm going to do a review, a full review of my Anschutz 1422 next. It's an older gun, but it's a lovely old gun, and I have had a lot of experience with that over the last few months. I've shot God knows how many squirrels and a fair few rabbits with it. It's been my sort of go-to uh, go to gun in my cabinet of, of late. My poor shotguns haven't seen the light of day. So, so yeah, so look out for that next, and thanks for watching.